my brothers and sisters. For look, the master, Yahuwah of hosts, is turning aside from Yerushalayim and from Yehuda, the stock and the store, all the supply of bread and all the supply of water, the mighty man and the man of battle, the judge and the prophet and the diviner and the elder, the commander of 50 and the highly respected man and the counselor and the skilled craftsman and the clever enchanter. And I shall make use their heads and children shall rule over them and the people shall exert pressure man on man, man on his neighbor. The young rise up against the older and the lightly esteemed against the highly esteemed. When a man takes hold of his brother in the house of his father by the garment and says, come, be a chief over us and let this ruin be under your hand. He shall swear in that day, saying, I am not a healer, for in my house is neither bread nor garment. Do not make me a chief of the people. For Yerushalayim has stumbled and Yehuda has fallen because their tongue and their doings are against Yehoah to provoke the eyes of his esteem. The look on their faces witnesses against them and they declare their sin as Sedum. They do not hide it. Woe to their being, for they have brought evil upon themselves. Say to the righteous, it is well, for they eat the fruit of their doings. Woe to the wrong, evil, for the reward of his hand is done to him. My people use exert pressure on them and women rule over them. Oh, my people, your leaders lead you astray and swallow the way of your past. Yahuwah shall stand up to plead and is standing to judge the peoples. Yahuwah enters into judgment with the elders of his people and its heads. It is you who have eaten up the vineyard. The plunder of the poor is in your houses. What do you mean by crushing my people and grinding the faces of the poor? Declares the master, Yahuwah of hosts. And Yahuwah says, because the daughters of Sion are haughty and walk with outstretched necks and seductive eyes, walking and mincing as they go, making a jingling with their feet. Therefore, Yahuwah shall smite with the scab, the crown of the head of the daughters of Sion. And Yahuwah expose their nakedness. In that day, Yahuwah takes away the finery of the anklets and the headbands and the crescents, the pendants, the bracelets and the veils, the headdresses, and the leg ornaments, and the sashes, and the perfume bottles, and the amulets, the rings, and the nose jewels, the costly robes, and the cloaks, and the shawls, and the purses, the mirrors, and the fine linen, and the turbans, and the large veils, and it shall be. Instead of a sweet fragrance, a smell of decay, and instead of a belt, a rope, and instead of well-set hair, baldness, and instead of a festal robe, a girding of sackcloth, and branding instead of loveliness, your men shall fall by the sword, and your strength in battle, and her gates shall lament and mourn, and she, deserted, shall sit on the ground. Shalom.